die before someone else does. My respects to you. May the Lord watch over you. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. About that debt. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honour. Is there anything else I can do for you? God be with you. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. All right, I'll try and get some for you. Bye. My respects to you. Scribe Friedrich needs the embrocation for his joints. What, again? He was here not long ago for some. He ought to make it last longer. I told him not to grease himself up so much. It could cause... Oh, the older he gets, the more foolish he is. Well, did he tell you such salvation is costly? Have a look in the shop for yourself.
Let's talk about the price. Why not? What about this? You won't convince me with that. Are we agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. What are you here for? I bought you the embrocation. And you were right, it certainly wasn't cheap. I know, lad. I've been using it for years. Will you let me have a look at the Black Chronicle? Well, you helped me, so now I'll help you. Come along, and I'll show you our Black Chronicle. That really is a miraculous ointment. You haven't even rubbed it on, and it's already working. You know how it is. Faith itself is the greatest healer. Just thinking about the relief it will bring makes me feel better. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Come along. Bye bye. Could you find something for me in that book? The thing is, I don't, um... Don't know how to read, do you? So what do you need to know? I'm trying to track down those Neuhoff cutthroats, and I need to find out the names of any cronies of Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. Hmm. Give me a while. Bye. So did you find any mention of Limpy in the book? I did. Apart from Lubosch, there's mention of some Anton from Vlashim and Hinek, known as Riki, from Ledechko. Ledechko? That's a stone throw from here. Aye. Certainly closer than Vlashim. Thanks for your help. Thank you for that ointment. Yeah. God be with you. God be with you. G 
Jesus Christ be praised. Farewell. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things. Horrible. I hear they skin people alive, and what they do to the woman folk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are. Animals. Take care. What do you need? May the Lord watch over you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? I should say so. The bishop's vicar came to Ujits, and not even Sir Hanush knows what he's after in these parts. Something must be up, but I couldn't tell you more than that. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scalit's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... Begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... Begging your pardon. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course. Where else would they get it? Gallows Hill. It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are... overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? 
If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. Jesus Christ be praised. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well... It would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But... I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. May the Lord watch over you. Jesus Christ be praised. How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. Ah, I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again anytime soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. You mean you want me to bring you game from the woods? Are you mad? That's poaching. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you! You're in Sir Radzik's garrison, and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. 
Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. Take care now. God be with you. I'm looking for people to carry water. Are you interested? But I already have a job. I help out with the horses. That's better than carrying water. I suppose so. I just thought maybe you could do with the coin. Well, thank you for caring. But you ought to ask someone more needy. Farewell. My respects to you, sir. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. It might not be to your liking, though, on account of it's the executioner who's looking for someone. At least, that's what I've heard. Of course, the folk here don't want to have anything to do with him. Only the more they avoid him, the more they gossip about him. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. No one I can think of. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. No one I can think of. God be with you. What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. By God's mercy, the war's passed us by so far. There's nothing but them refugees to disturb the peace. Been a pleasure. Good day to you. I feel a lucky throw coming my way. How about you? We'll see whose side Lady Luck is on. Finished. This'll be the one. <sighs> That's all.
God's holy hat! Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I don't. It's no big deal. He didn't have much anyway. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. God's holy hat! How in the name of all that's holy? woman to starve. Sigismund took everything I had, the godless beast. Have some compassion. Maybe I could get you some work, if you know how to cook food for nobles. And where would I learn that? In Skalitz? If it's gruel with lard you're after, fine. But that ain't really fair for a lord. No, I reckon not. Well, it's not a job for you then. So why waste my time talking about it? Come back when you've something worthwhile to tell me. Take care. Hmm. What do you want? Henry! Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujits. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. 
what does a vicar do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. What should I do about him, then? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy, have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time the prelates just invent them, to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure that interfering bastard gets out of here. Are you at odds with the Archbishop in some way, sir? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no guarantee he doesn't have his eye on my estate. But how could he get his hands on it? He's an Archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. And now, without the King around, it's the perfect time to amass a nice little horde. Believe me, I know. They say in Prague that he's a complete dolt. But I rather doubt that. Why? All the Hare clan are as shrewd as they come. I know that better than most. Uh-huh. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. And be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels. So take care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes. Farewell. Jesus Christ be praised. God be with you. Goodbye. Be merciful, good neighbors. I live. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in, but then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. May the Lord watch over you.
Sure. Farewell. Well, that'll be about all. Here you are. Thanks for everything. God bless. Good day to you. I'm from Scallet's good folk. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. Good day to you. What do you need? What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burnt to ashes by... I'm supposed to find some workers, and I thought of you. Why me? Ah, I thought you might appreciate an honest job for an honest wage. What are you trying to say? I just thought it might help you. A good Samaritan, are you? Why don't you go and bother someone else? Good luck to you. My respects to you. Take care now. Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. Feed the whole family with fresh bread. Good health to you, sir. Farewell. Jesus Christ be praised. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. Why are you keeping me? <laughs> 